Hello, if you want to maximize your profit on farming similar to 22, I'm going to show you the steps to do that. Hi, I'm Farmer Teacher. Look at the bottom right there of my screen, my field information, my yield bonus is at 100%. If you're not, stick around. Let me show you the steps to do that. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so your first step is you're going to wait till your field is harvested. That's actually your starting point to get it to 100%. So you see here, my field is harvested. And then I check the soil condition. And it says it needs lime. Okay, it needs lime. So what I'm going to do is run right here. Get the lime going. Okay, and he's going. So what you do is you just go up here. You got to have one of these containers or trailers that does lime. It's under fertilizer spreader, but it has to have the little line symbol. So that first one doesn't do it. Uh, this one does it. That one, that one does it. If it has the lime symbol there, then you can use that for lime. So uh, that's the next step. And we'll be right back with the next step after this. Okay, we've got our lime down says it's it's all limed up there you go so now the next step is to use a mulcher a mulcher we have one here remember we harvested we prepared the soil this one particular one needed lime does it need lime every time now you got to go get a mulcher if you go up here on the menu under mulchers you'll see them Okay, I missed it. Losing my mind here. Spaders, disheveras, planters. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here, right next to right next to plows. Mulchers. Smallest one is cheap. Okay. So you can start out small with one of these. I have a big one. Uh that one there. Okay, pretty big. I need 270 horsepower for that. So it's on this thing. So I'm going to start mulching the field. Now this one's big, so I have to do the ends first. And that's what it looks like. It's going to mulch it, kind of flattens out the little stubble there. And you can see, as I look at my field there, it's turning purple. Okay, so it's mulched. And we'll be back with the next step. Okay, we have almost finished our uh, mulching. Our mulcher is still going over there. So what we're going to do now, the next step is to cultivate it with some type of cultivator, plow, just harrow, something like that, subsoil. Uh, it's your cultivation phase. Now you have to do the mulching first. You have to do the mulching first and then some type of cultivator. The one I have here happens to be a disc harrow, but it could be a regular cultivator. But that is the next step on your way to 100%. So he's disc harrowing slash cultivating the field and like I say we're on our way to the to 100 percent so this is the next step some type of cultivation see you in a bit go we're back it's all cultivated I use my disc harrow and it's all cultivated now if you used a cultivator you either have to spray herbicide or at this point, you would have weeds and you have to use a weeder to pull them out or a hoe. OK, I used a disc harrow and a disc harrow makes a seed bed and that keeps the weeds from coming up after you cultivate using the disc harrow, not a cultivator. If you plow, you don't have weeds either. Or you use a subsoiler. So if you use a regular cultivator, though, at this point, you would have some weeds down here that you would have to get either pull with a weeder or you would spray uh, either now or yesterday before uh, you went to the next day and it'd keep them from coming up. So that's the next step and we get to skip that because I used a disc harrow. We'll be back. Okay, it is now May and time to plant soybeans. Uh, we don't have any weeds because we disc harrowed it so we never had to do weeds after we cultivated with the disc harrow. So now we're jumping in here with our cedar and we're just going to plant our crop. 
And there we go. We'll be back when this is done. Okay, we have planted our field. We've planted our field with soybeans. And our next step, the same day as planting, is to roll it. Okay, we have here the mega roll. I'll show you on the menu real quick. Wrong menu. Okay, there's two main ones to choose from without a mod. Uh, we have the biggest one there. Don't confuse these under rollers with the roller that's under grassland care. You can't use that on your regular crops. Okay, that one. Do not use that on your regular crops. That's for grass only and vice versa. So we have here the mega roll and we're going to hop in here and roll this as the very next step. You see, it gives it a nice look when you're done. And there you go. We'll be back with the next step. Okay, we have rolled our field nicely and gone into the next day slash month. It is now June and it is full of weeds. Look at this. Now, it says it's medium weeds. Since we used a disc harrow, we missed a weeding session. We didn't have to do the one right after cultivating with the disc harrow. The drawback is you have medium weeds. So instead of a regular weeder, you have to use a hoe. And that's what we have here. Uh, when you look at the weeder section, there's a couple in there that are hoes, and most of them are weeders. Uh, but a hoe will get medium or small weeds. You also need that for potatoes. We're going to jump in here and start this guy up. And look at that. It's getting all the weeds out nicely, even though it had a lot. Getting all these weeds out. And we'll be back with the next step. Okay, we've taken all our weeds out. Look at that. It looks really nice. Really nice. And now it's time to fertilize it. Now, you always fertilize your, you know, your second stage of, or your first stage of growth. Uh, and I do it after I get the weeds out. We didn't have to fertilize after we planted because my cedar also fertilizes. If you have a cedar that doesn't do that, uh, then you also have to fertilize after you plant and we'll be back okay we are done with our fertilization i just want to show you the field it looks nice all the weeds are gone and look at the bottom right there our yield bonus is at 100 percent and that's what you want to do that's what you want to do so uh just follow these steps if you want to squeeze all the profit you can out of your field you follow these steps and you'll get at 100 percent and you'll get all the money you can out of those crops and that's it. That's all I got. I'm Farmer Teacher. Uh, share this with a farming buddy. We have some more videos on different things. You can check those out. If you see something that you'd like to see that you don't see, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to accommodate. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.